Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, who has been taking this season kind of rough. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this does not work without you guys. Let's get open for business, and let's wake up the football gods. Wake up, guys. I know it's rough. Well, um, one quick thing. Um, people have been asking, they can't seem to find the channel join button, the, the membership button. I think it's only on the desktop. You have to use your computer, but if you go to where the subscription on the homepage, there's a blue box that says join. That's it. So you click on that and that leads you to the information on there. Um, so people have been asking me and it's not appearing on their stuff. So I don't know if it takes some time before it starts showing up for everybody or not, but, um, uh, I posted in the community section a picture to show exactly what it looks like. So today, um, the final practice before our showdown with the Washington Redskins, the Washington Redskins that are apparently trying to hurry up and get their coach, and they're looking at Marvin Lewis and Ron Rivera. I, I'm just mystified that, you know, Marvin Lewis, who actually was a defensive coordinator for them years ago, is in the mix, although that might be the Rooney Rule um, look at guy, of course, you know, you got to bring a minority candidate in for looking at, and he might be the one that they're looking at to say that, well, we at least interviewed somebody. But um, we got the Redskins on Sunday, and they are battered and bruised. Um, Haskins isn't going to play, and they have, a, like us, a multitude of injuries that, like everybody does. And for the Eagles, it, it ain't a guarantee that you win against the Giants. Um, you know, Daniel Jones did throw for five TDs last week, and um, you saw him and Eli partying real hard this week, and uh, Zach Ertz and Nelson Aguilar are ruled out for Sunday, so the Eagles are going to be shorthanded. This is not a gimme game for them at all, and I know I've got a troll in here who's talking about me begging and bending the knee. Fool! You you, uh, you think I'm going to bend the knee and bend, You know what? You had your opportunity to beat them before, and you threw up all over yourself. I ain't bending no knee. Get, man, get out of here with that garbage. But today may be, if we are to believe, the idea that Jason Garrett's time in Dallas is up, unless there's a miracle finish that, you know, the, the Giants end up beating the Eagles, and we get on a hot streak, and all of a sudden, go through and win the, or make it to the Super Bowl or the NFC Championship, um, then this would be it. So as we sit here on this last Friday practice, poss possibly of the season, of Jason Garrett, tonight for our live stream, I want to know what is your worst or infamous Jason Garrett moment. What was the one thing that will always stick with you that's negative about Jason Garrett? Okay, I mean, it's the clapping, him spitting on the sideline. Doesn't even seem like he spits right. Is it icing his own kicker? Is it smiling at every press conference after they've lost? I tell you what it is for me, because I was sitting here thinking today about this video you know, and exactly what I was going to say and do with it. And this one is the one that has always stuck with me, is losing to the Green Bay Packers after having a 26-3 to lead at halftime. Let me say it again. 26-3. to And it wasn't Aaron Rodgers, mind you. It was Matt Flynn. And I couldn't remember exactly how that game went. It was, um, I know we passed more than the team that was 23, yard, 23 points behind us. As opposed to using DeMarco Murray and running the football. Literally, if we had just done three runs and out, you would have taken off like three minutes each time you had the ball. But we kept passing and passing and passing and we lost that game so I went back and I started watching the clips on this and I realized <laughs> I realized how so many things have not changed because this was 2013 
this was the Dallas Cowboys with an opportunity to take the lead in the division. This was the opportunity for them to set up for playoffs. And it's really the same. Let's go through here. I, I actually want you guys to watch this with me because I have so many people that tell me that, you know, it's not coaching. It's not coaching, it's the players. Well, this was having a DeMarcus Ware. This was having a Jason Hatcher who had 11 and a half sacks. This was Tony Romo in his prime. Zach Martin as a Pro Bowl rookie. Travis Frederick before having the uh, uh, Wayne uh, or the, the, the syndrome. This was Tyron Smith when he was still throwing people. This was DeMarco Murray against Matt Flynn. And I want you to see the parallels in this. 19. Here's Lacey. Lacey. First play of the second half. Forget the bouquet. Eddie Lacey is inside the 40. Inside the 25. Hmm. And a good start hmm. to the second half for the Green Bay Packers. So. Flynn, Enzo, Nelson for the touchdown. He took it Okay. Away. So the first two minutes of the game, two plays, they get a touchdown. First down again. Shields can't bring him down. It needed help. Des Bryant was beasting. Settle for a field goal. Okay. Settle for a field goal. All right. Third down and eight. Pass is caught. Nice catch. That's the tight end. Andrew Cross. Poor tackling. Cowboys showing blitz. They back out. Can't get to the quarterback. One-handed, left-handed grab by Jordy Nelson. Play results in the first down. They get Scandrick. That was a good call. And mind you, that wasn't, you know, a perfectly pass, a perfectly passed ball. But the receiver made a play and caught it. Hmm. Hmm. Does that team look inspired? Okay, so our Cowboys came out, gave up 14 points in the third quarter. They're up 29-17, okay, with 55 seconds left to go in the third quarter. You have a 12-point lead. Go on. Could be a big stop for Green Bay. Romo is sacked inside the five. Matthews was hmm. in there, but he wasn't alone. The rookie Dayton Romo Jones. takes a sack. Now it's punt time. Jones Take a good it. look here. Micah Hyde on Dallas' side of the 50 to the sideline. Special teams failure. Okay, so, so wait, wait. Special teams. Keep in mind, everything we're watching happened six years ago. Special teams giving up great field position. Quarterback taking a sack and getting us in bad position. Um, poor tackling. And a team that does not look inspired. But let's go on. Glenn keeps it. That starts. Starts. Touchdown. Here we go. Great catch by Witten. And by the way, Witten was in his prime at this point. Tony Romo was in his prime. Romo, pass caught. That's Williams. Terrence Williams for the first down at the 11. Romo out to his right. Pass in. That's an incredible catch. Not a 50-50. That was an incredible catch. I don't know how he caught that one. Mm. MD Jennings never turns. Ball and just a bad play on the ball by MD Jennings. Here's Lacey. Lacey's got 11 and a first down. So, let, let me say this. Pass caught, Corliss, first down. Out 
You've got a 12-point lead with five minutes left to go. You see that tackle or lack thereof? On second down and ten, Flynn. Boykin, nice catch. Boykin down inside the ten. On second down, Flynn comes back for the touchdown as he gets it to Jones. All right. Looked right, came back to his left, and James Jones is in for the touchdown. It's good if it works, yeah. but it didn't. Romo. Four minutes and six seconds left to go. To buy time. Does buy time. And finally goes down inside the 20, and it's Mike Neal. Now they bring extra. Pass is caught by Des Bryant. Ball is out. And they're going to say he was down. Two conversions all game. Matthews can't get the sack, but Shields has got the pick. I want you to listen to this very carefully and let me turn it up and, and let me let me pull this back again because see here's the thing you have the lead and literally if you had run the ball at all at all you could have taken because here's the difference if you throw an incomplete pass or the guy gets out of bounds, you only use about 8, 10 seconds a play. If you run the football, you're basically taking off about 45 seconds on the clock. If you put a few more runs in there, there's not 3 minutes of 49 seconds there. And you are not going through and trying to get a, you know, desperation pass on 3rd and 12. But listen to what they say here. Two conversions all game. Matthews can't get the sack, but Shields has got the pick. The play calling of the Cowboys will come into serious question after this. Here's Quartus inside the 35. Here's Lacey. And Lacey, the rookie down inside the five. First play. Hand off to Lacey. The rookie's in for the touchdown. And the comeback has Green Bay on top. From the 29, pass is incomplete. Tremont Williams, he thinks he had it. He sure does. The call immediately was that the ball hit the ground. By, by these officials in the replay system. Meanwhile, Green Bay this will ball, not be charged a timeout. The buzz came prior to It looks him. like a clean interception all the way. We will re After reviewing the play, the receiver had two hands under the ball, completed the kick, rolled over to the interception. And the Green Bay's ball first and 10 on the 32. This, a Yeah. So, I got to tell you, so... You just think about what they said in 2013. Think about the situation that was happening in 2013. All you people that are saying, it is just the players that are not performing. <clears throat> Again, you had your three all-pro offensive linemen who were young studs. You had Des Bryant, incredible, uninjured. You had Tony Romo, great shape. You had an opportunity to go ahead and take a stranglehold on your division. You end up losing to a backup quarterback after being up 26-3. to You had your special teams giving up big plays. You had your defense missing tackles. Now, you can throw it all on the fact that, you know, oh, well, these guys we have are bums. You know, that they're just not good. But, see, we have the gold standard out there of Tony Romo. We talk about we should be bringing Des Bryant back. Oh, my God. If, uh, you know, we, we DeMarcus Lawrence is no DeMarcus Ware. But we had DeMarcus Ware there. We had Jason Hatcher there. We had all these things. And we weren't playing against Aaron Rodgers. We were playing against Matt Flynn. And all of the same issues that happened in this game including play calling, all happen today. And this is that one that I always point to and say, this game right here drives me crazy. The fact that you could be up 26-3. to 3. 
throw the football more than the team that is 23 points behind you and end up having two turnovers on your last drive. Actually, I should say a sack and then two turnovers to end your last three drives. A complete collapse of a team. And yet, you can look at the Eagles game and every one of the issues that we had in that game, play calling, special teams, tackling, lack of effort, it's all still there. If you don't see that, then you just don't really understand football. And you guys, haters out there, can say what you want. You're just a whiner. You're a liar. Listen, look at the film. Look at what happened. We'll be talking about this tonight. So make sure when you come in our live stream that you come in with your infamous Jason Garrett moment. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'll see you tonight.